How to crochet the interlocking shell stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and two balls of yarn in different colors. Special thanks to our sponsor, Webs, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of six plus one, and we'll add an additional two stitches for the base. Row one, beginning on the right side of our work, we'll skip the first two chains, and we will do two double crochets into the next chain. One, two. Okay, then we'll skip two more chains. One, two and we will do a single crochet into the next chain stitch. Then we'll start our repeat by skipping the next two chain stitches. And then we will do a five double crochet into the next chain. All right, after our five double crochets, we will skip two more chain stitches. One, two, and we'll do a single crochet into the next chain. And we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the last three chains in our row. All right, when we reach the last three chains in our row, we will skip the first two chains and do three double crochets into the last chain. Now on this third chain, we're only going to complete the first two loops. We're gonna leave two loops on here and we're gonna to switch to our color B. So I've got our other color here. I'm gonna create a just a loop with a long tail on it so we can weave that in later and we'll just loop this through these last two stitches here, our last two loops on our row. And now we've switched to our new color for our next row. So now we can turn our work. And for row two, we can start by chaining one. Okay, then we're gonna do a single crochet into the first stitch and I'm gonna weave this tail in as I go. Okay, so single crochet into the first stitch, then we'll start our repeat by chaining two. Okay, then we're going to double crochet five together over the next five stitches. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook in, draw through, and draw through, two, yarn over, insert into, draw through, yarn over and draw through, two, yarn over, insert, draw through, yarn over and draw through, two. So, so far that's three stitches. We're gonna keep doing this across. So now we got five stitches. Basically we're just working the first two stitches or first two loops for each post. That leaves us with six loops on our hook. We'll yarn over and draw through all six loops at one time. Okay, we'll pull that nice and tight. Okay, then we will chain two, one, two, and we'll do a single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm gonna stop weaving in my tail here at 
this point. Okay, and then we will repeat this sequence until we reach the last stitch in our row. So chain two again, and then another double crochet five together. Let's do that one more time just so we make sure you're caught onto it. We're gonna yarn over, insert into the next stitch, draw through and yarn over and draw through the first two. Okay, so we've worked basically half of a double crochet. Okay, and we're gonna do that for each of the next five stitches or total of five stitches. So there's two, three, four, and five. That leaves us with six loops on our hook. Yarn over and draw through all six loops at one time. Okay. Chain two, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and we'll repeat that to the end. So to finish this row, we are going to do a single crochet into the turn chain. So there's two chains here at the end. We're gonna go into the top one. We're gonna draw through one loop, and then we're gonna leave these two loops on our hook and what we need to do is we need to cut our working yarn from our color A. So we're gonna cut this about six to eight inches out. And then we can pull this over here and start a new row with our color A. And we're gonna have to cut our yarn at the end of each row because it won't be on the right side. So there'll be a lot of ends to weave in on this pattern if you don't weave them in as you go. So I highly recommend that you do weave them in as you go. So to do that, I'm gonna cut our color B as well so we can just weave those in together. Okay, so now we're ready for row three. We're just gonna turn our work. Row three, we're going to begin by chaining three. And we're using our color A again. This counts as a double crochet. Then we'll do two double crochets into the first stitch. That's this one right below. And as I do this, I'm going to work my tails in so that those tails are actually being worked into the stitch because I'm wrapping the yarn around them as I go. Okay, so yarn over, when I insert in here, you can see the tails are being wrapped into the stitch. Okay, so this is two double crochets now that we've done. We're going to skip the next chain two, that's these right here, and we will do one single crochet into the next cluster, which is our double crochet or double crochet five together. Okay, don't let me lose my working yarn. All right, so we got a single crochet we're still working our yarn into the work as we go. All right, now I'm gonna start our repeat by skipping the next two chains and doing five double crochets into the next single crochet. That's this right here. There's two. Three. Four. And five. 
5. Okay, so that's a good time to stop working in our tails. Then I'm going to do a single crochet into the next cluster stitch, which is our double crochet five together. Okay, so we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the last two chains in our row. All right, when we reach the last two chains in our row, we're going to do three double crochets into the last single crochet. So we'll skip these two chains, go into the last single crochet, And do three double crochets. So there's two and three. And then we're going to switch to our other color. And tighten that down. Okay, and then remember we'll need to cut our color A so we can weave those ends in as we go. Okay, so then we'll turn our work and we're gonna repeat rows two and three until we've reached our desired length. And we can see we've got our tails hanging out here, but when we're finished with our project, we can just trim those off right at the spot and they're completely integrated into the fabric. So that's how we crochet the interlocking shell stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.